welcome to this week's edition of the Falcon Report. This week is December 5th through December 9th. Let's check in with Playworks for Game of the Week. We have been practicing soccer skills the last few weeks. Try joining a soccer game at recess this week. Remember to pass the ball with the side of your foot, try to score a goal, and most of all, remember to be a great sport. Let's cheer and give high fives. Now back to our reporter for the Sweet Story Highlights. Hi, my name is Olive and I'm with Daphne who has a joke for us. What did the gingerbread man put under his blanket? Hmm, what did the ginger man put under his blanket? A cookie sheet. That's funny. Thank you, Daphne. This report just came in. Kindergarten's gingerbread man is on the loose. Miss Torrell put him in the oven to bake. Just before kindergarten came to get him, she saw him running away. Miss Torrell showed the class the evidence. There are lost posters throughout the school. If you see this gingerbread man, please let kindergarten know. Thank you. Just a reminder, you can be high flyer for creativity, assertiveness, resiliency, effort, and safety. Will you do strive on being high flyers, Falcons? Hi, I'm here with William and Shiloh from second grade. I heard your classes had their own Macy's Day Parade. Yes. Can you tell me about that? We all made floats and used spirals to move them down the parade path. Miss Alt Cedar got the New York City background for the parade. That sounds fun. Let's take a look. The whole school has been learning comprehension strategies. Last week we learned about Schema and Spinny, our Schema character. Schema is making connections using your prior knowledge. For example, while reading you might think you may think, I have a connection to the story's character, or that reminds me of the time that happened to me. This week we're learning about inferring and franny. Schema plus evidence equals inference. For example, while reading, you might think, maybe this could mean this, or I predict that that will happen. Using schema and inference while reading will help you remember. remember. We currently have 47,141 care cards. Keep up the good work, Falcons. Hello, I'm back with Ms. McDaniel, our AM and PM kindergarten teacher. What, where are you from? I'm from Southern California. How long have you been teaching? I've been teaching for six years and I've been at Sprucewood for five. Do you have any pets? I do. I have two dogs, a golden retriever named Annie and a Maltese named Bella. What is your favorite movie or TV show? I love uh, Hallmark Christmas movies. And I heard that you've been in a couple. Yeah, <laughs> I have. Thank you, Miss McDaniel. We love having you as Bruce Wood. I love being here. Thank you. We're now checking in with Miss Guyman for this month's Zones of Regulations update. Thank you, Olive. I had so much fun in all of your classrooms this month talking about the yellow zone with you guys. Remember, we talked about warning signs for when we're in our yellow zones and what it feels like in our bodies. Sometimes we feel butterflies in our stomachs or we might notice our heart beating really fast. Olive, I was wondering if you would practice one of our tools with me that all the kids learned this month. Is that okay? Okay, remember everybody, we learned the shoulder drop this month, which is when you breathe in and take your shoulders up to your ears and as you let it go, you drop them down. 
Let's do one more. Thanks, Olive. So remember, that's a good tool you can use to help you regulate from yellow back to green. Now, we have another really exciting zones of regulation update this month. So Miss Chris and I, in the cafeteria, we're talking about ways that we can help you guys have a better cafeteria experience and stay in your green zones when you're eating lunch. So you might have noticed, but we added a bunch of these posters in our cafeteria to help remind you guys of the zones of regulation. Because lots of times when we're eating lunch with our friends, we get excited and we find ourselves in our yellow zone and even sometimes in our red zone. So Miss Chris and I came up with an idea to help you guys know when you're in your yellow or your red zone, know when you need to regulate back to green. So Miss Chris has made this sign, has a stop sign on the top and a stick. She's going to use it in the cafeteria. When your table is in your yellow or your red zone and we need you to come back to green, maybe it's getting a little too loud or maybe people are moving around too much in the cafeteria, she'll come around and tap this sign on your table. So you know, oh, it's time to regulate back to green. If everybody in the whole cafeteria, because sometimes that happens, is outside of their green zone, rather than walking around to each table, Miss Chris is going to put the sign in the air for everybody to see. So if it's in the air, that means everybody in the cafeteria needs to regulate back to green. If it's just at your table, that means that just your table needs to work on getting back to the green zone. Mm. We're so excited to try this in our cafeteria. We're hoping that it'll help you guys stay in your green zone so that everybody has the same opportunity to eat all the delicious food that our cafeteria makes. Thank you, Ms. Guyman. Here's what's happening at Sprucewood this week. This Tuesday night from 4 to 9 p.m. is our school fundraiser at Cafe Zupas. We'd love to see you there. Have a great week, Falcons. Watching! Yeah.